Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. Starting now with news that risk is definitely off on global markets. The Dow is down 1% near the close. It has been down as much as 150 points. The gold price down 1.5%, down to levels we haven't seen since 2007. And the oil price down 2.3%, West Texas Intermediate around $78.35 a barrel. Because of that, the New Zealand dollar, which tends to rise and fall with those appetites for risk, it's down to 78.7. It was over 79 US cents yesterday. Now, there's a couple of factors here why people are taking risk off the table. The European crisis, no surprise there. We've got a summit going on at the moment and there's no clear solution in tune for that. No one's suggesting a deal is likely to come out of that would, that would actually make a difference. And that's why Spanish bond yields rose again overnight to a high of 7%. They're closing slightly below that. Also news that European confidence has slumped to 2010 lows and even German unemployment now up more than forecast. And banks on both sides of the Atlantic have been hammered. JP Morgan down 4.4% after the New York Times reported that its loss from the so-called whale trade in London could top 9 billion US dollars. It had been talking about a 2 billion dollar loss. And Barclays, remember it was fined this week for manipulating its offerings on the LIBOR price. This is a key thing for international markets, LIBOR, the London Interbank Offer Rate. Its shares fell 14.4%. Remember it's paying almost a half a billion dollars worth of fines. That's after the UK Chancellor said there needed to be a criminal probe into what Barclays and other UK and US banks are up to. Bob Diamond, the CEO, was dragged into number 10 to explain. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 9 from interest.co.nz.